just if you go if you look at that if you look at that weekly again man the volatility on the weekly is just crushed yeah, yeah. And, just, and it's flashing on the low length and the mid length and coming down harder on the point on the high length look and what it's happened actively correlated 2400 so took a nosedive on this weekly open man yeah wow so it's uh the 981s at a 3.7 the uh, 525s at an eight and the 2400s at a nine. Really low volatility. Sloping up towards positive correlation. All the fishers are up. DLP, bull dip. Fishers, bull dip. Turns off, start, bull dip. Z score, bull dip. It goes on. Very on. ALR coming up. ALR coming up. All the good stuff. Getting these verticals. The weekly is also right at a mean. Like, it's, I mean, it's pushing up on them. It's pushing up right above the mean from quite a long period over it. If it closes above the mean, it'll be not, you know, yeah. it's not, it's nice when it's running above the mean. I should say the median, sorry, technically. But that's good. Ooh, look at that four hour. All these fishers are turning up, man. Volatility is expanding. So significantly correlated and look at the z score z score is ready to make a move back up to the top btc and ladies markets So yeah, apparently, let's see, VIX up, VIX up, dollar, dollar starting out strong. Yeah. Uh, what's fucking oil doing? I saw you put, put down a bit. stuff. Oil's down, you know. Gold and silver down. When aren't they? Um, Apple's moving. I saw that I coming. That. Oh, saw that coming. I actually, uh, I mean, it's going to be a little tough. I, I want this monthly close. I want to see where these new monthly ranges are, although I already know where they're going to be. I just want to see it for myself because we have, uh, we're finishing off this month strong above the monthly range. Let me see here. Let's, uh, let's go over to BTC real quick here. Yeah, had that nice early morning pump. Yep, right off where top of the monthly range. Top of the monthly range, right here. Top of the weekly, top of the monthly for OBTC. Um, has it been a magnet for price action last week? Yeah, man, it's just humding and it's just, it's just ranging right around this monthly range. We can close this above it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Although they're going to continue to try to drive these markets down, but uh, looks like some investors are coming back. Why wouldn't you? If we're not at the bottom. We're damn close. There's a lot of things going on in BTC. Little macro time frames, right? I'm looking at this. Now I'm going to hey. go back to this monthly. Hey, 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 hey. Mr. Hey, Yasha. Hey, hey. Mr. Yasha in the house. In the hizzy. Yasha coming in. Yeah. DC price action. 
ETC's a bear. ETC's not going to do anything. It's been doing nothing but going up since a penny. So, that being said, about time to leg up, BTC. Bold div. Bold div on the monthly. This monthly close, I want to see how many of these uh, fishers turn up with the other one. And see what exactly happens with this return oscillator. Obviously, right? We're on a monthly. We're not going to get a lot of history. I'm, I'm surprised we got this much, to be honest, on the return oscillator. But I do I do like you. I do like you. Because it's powerful on the monthly, man. It really is. Powerful on the monthly. I mean, look at, I mean, bear div right into bull div, right into bear div, right into bull div. I mean, it's just back and forth over yeah. uh, that time frame and even the 45 day we had this little we had this little move on the returns oscillator right at the zero mean creating that bull div and I always go back to the z score z score is just buried man it's almost at the 99 percent confidence level. we don't have a lot of history on this but yeah there's an effect happening on the monthly also on the rmlrs on the mean like mm -hmm. both of the next month it's right at it right now, but it's going to actually cross over in the next month. Let's see. Boink. Boink. Look at BTC. Look at BTC. So you've got right literally, through. is that the, yeah. Hmm. Which is a nice indication that there'll be some nice action in, in the next several months, probably. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, 33 power means right around 30K, too. Yeah, and the 30 is right at uh, 34, 34.3. So lovely. Getting ready. We're having an intersection right here. This monthly close, these things are going to intersect. Is this uh, lower length? Or... Uh, pretty sure. It's I mean, it's going to intersect with both of them, really, in the next month. Oh, hell, it's already intersected with the. Uh... Yeah, if you have the future line showing on them. You'll see they're running right through. You know, my future lines won't even populate. There's not enough history on the monthly. I'll uh, I'll post this thing, the screen chart, screen chat. But let's back and hit this little projection. Where is, let me get this. Where are you at, baby? Where's my drag and drop? There it is. Back that up one more. There we go. So even on a monthly, right? Monthly, we're inside the 95.4. Tested it right here. Yes. Closed actually below it. Probabilities, probabilities are like, nope. You can see. Boom, 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 boom. It's staying right above it. Right above it. Hmm. Pretty interesting. The next month, I want to see where like 1S is. 95.4 Laplace. It's pouring rain here. 40 oh, yeah, here too, man. Detroit, man. Pouring here too. Nice and sunny here today. We're going to have a heck of a thunderstorm tomorrow, apparently, for our National Election Day, too. How right. about that Wolverines? <laughs> How about that BTC data set? Open it up. Okay, we're talking business here. Well, this BTC data set, right, with this new open this week. It jumped up above the lower length RMLR. Now, where's it at? It is right at the 30 length. This is going to tell a lot here. This is going to tell a real lot. We're going to come down, test this 68.3 Laplace to the downside on the new weekly. A little bit under 20. So that 19, it, it's right at 20 pretty much. Right at 20K. So that, that will be very interesting. Do we bounce from there? Or do we just take this to start moving to the top side well one good thing to do to take a peek at all right let's make it real let's go to a monthly let's put some verticals up <clears throat> what's that crazy guy doing now that's right Boop. putting up some verticals we're going to see where this new monthly range is going to be kiddos guarantee you it's going to move up or down or sideways yes 100 percent Exactly what's going to happen. Woo! This one's a toughie. Good Lord. 
You all right, buddy? Man, this dog is not getting good. I'm, I'm good, man. <laughs> um, Just kidding. We're going to open up above this monthly range once BTC really dumps out. Probably going to... Oh, my God. What was the low of the month? 18? I mean, really? God, man. It's only about a 3K range. We could get a nice tight monthly. Nice tight monthly. And if we do do that... God, Max. Let's... Oh, my God. The time is near. Am I going to do what I got to do, boys? <laughs> my boy is not good. <laughs> Trying to lighten it a little bit. You know, it's not good. Um... And I'm sure everybody's aware I have a very sick dog, unfortunately. I'm thinking monthly range up here. I, I mean, I'm telling you, man, right around 20K. We open up above we open up above that new monthly range. Good stuff, considering we 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 closed above October's monthly range. It's always strong. Always strong. We're gonna start, we can start getting these weekly volatility ranges above the monthly. If this thing wants to move, they know. We're close, man. I mean, I've, I've been saying this for, we've been, I've been noticing that bull div on those macro time frames for what? A month <laughs> of it building? That stuff plays out. Well, the bears are just doing what they do. They're bearish. They don't know. They don't know there's divergence between price action and log returns. We don't care about the other types of divergence. It, it's it's meaningless to us. We want to know what the returns are doing, and if there is that imbalance in the buy and sell pressure, and there damn sure is, right? A lot of selling been going on, a lot. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's pop this on a weekly real quick. Yeah, man. I mean, you've got all these a the the four hundred line or twenty four hundred app or the four hundred length app is pretty high, but you know the other two been buried. Been buried. Exhaustion, man. And goddamn, you can only sell so much. Let's get one more better look. Let's pull this in on a uh, four hour. So here's the four hour on the monthly. Just to get a better idea of where that monthly range is going to be, I'm going to stick to my guns, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be around 20K. It's going to be around 20K. Why do I see that? You can see the area, man. You can see where all the volatility is, all right? It's kind of sticks out when you when you stare at this enough, you'll start to you'll start to realize what I see. Let's see here, and it uh, it's going to be right around twenty k. If you go if you look at that if you look at that weekly again, man, the volatility on the weekly is just crushed. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's flashing on the low length and the mid length, and it's oh. coming down harder on the on the high length. Look and what it's happened. Actively correlated. 2400 so took a nosedive on this weekly open, man. Yeah. Wow. So it's uh, the 981s at a 3.7, the uh, 525s at an 8, and the 2400s at a 9. Really low volatility, sloping up towards positive correlation. All the fissures are up. DLP bull div, Fisher's bull div, Turns Australia bull div, Z score bull div. It goes on. Very and on. ALR coming up. ALR coming up. All the good stuff. Get rid of these verticals. The weekly is also right at a mean. Like it's, I mean, it's pushing up on them. It's pushing up right above the mean from quite a long period over it if it closes above the mean it'll be not you know yeah. it's not it's nice when it's running above the mean i should say the median sorry technically but that's good Ooh, look at that four hour all these fissures are turning up man volatility's expanding it's significantly correlated and look at the z score z score is ready to make a move back up to the top btc will lead these markets Dogecoin was trying yesterday, wasn't it? Day before, a little pumpy pump. Of course, they think fucking Doge will be the Twitter currency. I'm sure peer to peer payments or whatever. People are like, no, no, no. You know how many people don't even know that Elon Musk created PayPal? <laughs> right. Not that he owns any of it anymore, but yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, nothing to see here. I mean, he's he's. This is gonna be interesting to see what he does with Twitter. I mean, I've never really the only Twitter I've ever had is you know for the one for Alpha Trading, my personal one. Hell, I've probably made about ten fucking tweets in my life, maybe. Just social media, uh, you know, boomered out. It's good though. We're in the day and age, so I should start using it more. Yeah, like having an outlier, having an outlier in this four hour. So then we buzz to the 90. What is it, 915? We got 15 minutes. What's happening on the 90? Z scores low too. Fishers are up. This is the long, this is the end of the month and everything. Yeah, yeah, bull nice. div. It was bull div. Bull div on the 90. Sent this 90 minute candle reeling to the top side. Probably four out of four or 45 too. Yep. Yeah. We'll live on the 45, send it reeling. Having a nice little reset here if the returns oscillator. Price action barely pulled back, what, from 20.8 to, no, jeez, I mean, a couple hundred bucks is all. When that moved down, why? Well, this would be different. If this is bear div, if this was bear div right here, you would probably see at least down another few hundred bucks. I would imagine. But there wasn't. Got higher highs. We're right along with price action. Now what's it setting up? Hidden bull. Hidden bull is setting up. The Z score is pretty high. But we all know it's a Z score of log returns. I use it mainly for divergence. And the outliers. Because when you get these outliers up into these confidence intervals or down into the confidence intervals, it's usually going to rip around and go the other way, especially the big ones, the big outliers. Like this, I mean... So what's going to happen here? Well, we're contracting. The volatility is contracting negatively correlated. The uh, entropy is still trending. It's just the uh, the predictors flipped a couple times. Trended up, trended down, still trending, but we're at the bands. We are at the bands. Usually you get down around those bands, you'll get a little turnaround. That's what's great about them. Trend, my friend. And becoming one of my favorite time frames, the 33 minutes, setting up hidden bowl. All the fishers are up. There is no bear div on anything. No, sir. Looking good. It was bull div that sent us up to begin with on the 33. Lots, lots of bull div. Boom, 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 boom. All these points. Finally, rocket ship. You can see all the little divergence moves playing out. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's our soundboard. <clears throat> Got to tweak it a little bit. Volatility's pretty low in the 33. Mm -hmm. What do you like? It's going to be interesting to see here. Let me click over under the VRE, put this on SPY, so see what's going on pre market. One second. Doing. Doing. The minis are down a little bit. Dollars trying to recover, isn't it? From its little pullback to what? Would it get down to 109 or something? Hmm. Crush the dollar, Bitcoin. <laughs> Crush the dollar. Nice trick or treat. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Speaking, of, I got to deal with that bullshit tonight with all the family businesses. That's always lovely. Delivery businesses on Halloween is always a train wreck. You gotta overstaff, people got to drive slower and Everyone's in costume. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking what I can what I'm gonna wear. I'm just gonna put my rabbit fur jock on and roll in. This party or what was that dude on a jackass party boy or whatever? <laughs> roll up in there. I'm here. All right. You want to be really scary, just dress up as a government bureaucrat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this uh, spy free market. It's uh, going to open above the monthly, last day of the uh, month. And spies monthly, but we really didn't take a peek at while well, we are waiting. Why not? Why not? What are you?
Ooh, hello. Well, that's a 33. Let's put this on a four hour. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Huh. Very interesting. Coming out of the gate. Yep, right there. Um, 375 area, probably. New monthly. 375, huh? Dude, go. Go. Literally not going to move much. Center of the monthly right now is at 375, so. What's been happening? All right. New, uh, drop down below, sucked it right back up. Tell you what, man. These last couple weeks, 10, about 10, I don't know, about what, eight days or something. Actually, they're pretty dang good. You lay down. Okay. Uh, let's see, buddy. I'm 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 doing something. Go lay down. I'll pet you later. <clears throat> My God. So here, pre market. Anything sticking out? What What are you thinking, P Funk, on these traditional markets? Taking a look at a SoFi. I'm watching SoFi and I'm just playing on the minis right now. Mm -hmm. SOFI, that's why I put up our CVP. Would you take a look at it? Yeah, let me see. Apple's down. You know, I don't know. I'm just looking for ideas right now. I'm just I'm just flipping around minis right now, anyways. Right. Hang on, I'll be with you. Got some hidden bulls setting up on the four hour. So fun. So fine. Yo. Bunch of wet ass dogs pouring rain. They all want out. See you. Stay out all day. So let's Dude, see. It's my wedding anniversary, and I got to tiptoe around the wife. You know, Halloween, 31 year anniversary on Halloween. Whoa. Dude, it's insanity. May the force be with you. There's a lot of numbers there. Yeah. 31st great. wedding anniversary on Halloween. I know, isn't that weird? That's why it's so weird. <laughs> it's like, all right. It sounds like a scary day. Square. You got to be it's trading like, the one today, man. The 31 length mean. <laughs> the 31 length mean. There you go, man. I mean, yeah, the 31st on the 31st seems only natural. Well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll put on a 31 minute chart. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. you see that? Look at that picture of that screen. That's what I want. See, if I could put it all on one screen like that and watch all that, beautiful. You see this? Let's see those pictures on the stream chat. I think there's yeah. like a 56 inch monitor. I'm the cool thing right is you can get everything on one screen, you know? Yeah, I see that, man. Yeah, I don't know. How, I, that's what I, I have a friend of mine who makes markets still. He uses two, 50, two 55 inch monitors next to each other. One basically for the exchange, one for charts. Yeah. Cheers, party boy. I love it. Warlord. <laughs> That's Bilbo rolling up into the mixer. <laughs> wow, look at that speedo. So is that is that is that your uh, monitor? No, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, get all that in there for sure. I tried to do it on a television, but like, it doesn't work on a TV because you can't get. I, even though you can plug it in, you can't get the exactly. You just can't get it to work. Yeah, yeah. You can't get. Yeah, I have a, I have screens running. I have TV screens running charts, but it's not, it's not the same resolution. You have to right. kind of like it, it's funky. the screens. The charts are bigger. Well, it just makes everything bigger. Oh, is that what it is? Just bigger. I mean, if you want to see it as clearly, basically, yeah. All right. Like if you look at that picture, he's got I don't know four, twelve. 16 charts up there are that are pretty big right. you know what i mean so you're able to watch you know i, I it's hard for right. me because on, on trading view we only got that 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 panel on the right where you can have like when you click on bilbo when you you know you can only i have I don't know, you can make a lot of you can make a lot of charts on a tv on a tell you know trading view screen that's for sure it's the resolution that matters so you can see it clearly mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, that was that's the issue I have too. I can't get it. So I tried to do it out of 40, 43 inch screen, and it was an old TV. Not old. It was a couple years old, and yeah, I just couldn't shrink anything down enough to you know get multiple things on it. Well, it's all good though, man. Whatever. Yeah, I just run my three thirty twos. I used to have my like, <clears throat> what was it forty two inch? Forty two inch. That's what I had my exchange on. I got like three, above everything. I, I have three twenty sevens right now. Fun. Quick thing. Yeah. The quick thing. Shit, sorry. There's uh, I learned this for like gaming monitors, right? So if you're gonna load up charts. For example, yeah. like it's going to take a lot of graphics power. But what lets you down is the processor on the TV. Okay. So like they can sell you a TV that's like full HD or whatever it was back in the day. But the processor is not so good. So if you go look for like a Samsung, whatever it is, QLED or whatever, it, you know, yeah. like a modern day one or Omni yeah. Bright, whatever it is. Yeah. Go look for Samsung or Sony Bravia. Like a Sony Bravia. What you're talking about, yeah. Yeah like a cheap second hand one man you'll get tvs they lose value like half the price every yeah year. no no i'm not worried you, yeah. i can you think i can get charged to look like that yeah so he's yeah. just got a big screen with good processing power it doesn't need to be like name brand but if you're going to go second hand that way you won't shoot yourself on the foot yeah i'm definitely going second hand i might even go fourth hand at the salvation army <laughs> yeah dude bang a deal this is a tv <laughs> but i guess my question to you is or any of you guys out here it, 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 am I looking for? I'm looking for the processor in the TV. That's what's important. Yeah, pretty much, because that's yeah. going to be able to take all the power from your graphics card that's being outputted and actually output it to your eyes. Whereas if the graphics card is a V8 and you've only got a V2 in the TV yeah. processor, you're only going to max out V2. So gotcha. you can. Yeah, I, I guess I, I should have had a V8. I should have had a V8. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm looking for V12. Well, dude, we we make we make Bloody Marys at work with v, with V8, and then we, yeah. we have another shit called the Works, and, yeah. and it's such a great looking drink, but I just can't fucking drink it. <laughs> I love it. Always have. I had a few yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> oh, you had a few yesterday. Yeah, I had a few yesterday. yesterday. I must have served fifty of them yesterday. We put yeah. a pickle, shrimp, and all that shit in it. Sometimes bacon. Bloody Mary's right into fucking dark liquor. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a great looking drink, but I can't actually drink it. It's disgusting. Right. Hey, Iskrit, I see you posted that thing about that Samsung. I told you guys the other day I was at Best Buy. They have a four foot tall TV that's about two feet wide that curves towards you, mm -hmm. away from you and towards you. Mm -hmm. Like it's concave. Well, what am I doing? Yeah. Dude, my neighbors just bought one, and they have a seventy-inch flat that they just threw out, like on the oh. it's like garbage <laughs> them, whatever, like a seventy-inch by like two and a half foot wide or something crazy. Oh shit! It's ridiculous. And that, that was a flat one, and now they got a curved one, which has like an extra, yeah. I think, ten yeah. inches or fifteen oh, inches in the curve. Threw it out. No, it's tossed. It's like it's like broken. They so they just replaced. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah. The junk collector all the time, time, dude. I mean, seventy inches. That's a lot. You can really. I mean, uh, dude, I had a seventy inch phone with all these charts on. I could have the exchange, Twitter, <laughs> Discord, right. you know, right. Twitter trading view. I'd be happy. That's all I need. Just one big thing, and then I can have it all on one right. instead of having to like look right. back and forth to three monitors. It's all right. It's all yeah. Good. Plus, it uses more energy. Obviously, if you have multiple screens versus just yeah, one. I never thought about it. Dude, finally, yeah. you know, we go into winter here. So my electric bill in the winter here is like a hundred bucks a month, maybe a little bit less, and it shoots to almost four hundred in the summer. Shit. Yeah, because I live on a yeah, here I'm on the second floor, and the, and the guy flat downstairs doesn't. He never turns his air on. So it's, you know, yeah, air is on constantly because of my dog. My, my AC runs twenty four hours a day. For six months, huh? and it's only a hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, no, that's a hundred dollars in the winter when it's not running. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? When this, when the is running, starting in May, from May to basically the end of September, it's on yeah. straight through. And my uncle, run. so my uncle will get the family together. He has a little house by like the ocean. That's sort of where he lives, and everyone comes. And that's like fucking fourteen people in the house. And there's like enough bedrooms and shit. Um, and during that time, his bill will be like, let's say, $200 in a month, right? Because it's his office as well and all this shit. 
So when the family comes, it will spike to like nine hundred, a thousand dollars just for like fifteen days. Because oh. everyone's just like yeah, banging open. Air cards. Yeah, 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 markets open just in case anyone. Yeah, I know what you're saying, though, man. That's it's, it's cool. Yeah. I hate the first three minutes of trading. That's Look at Spy, cool. baby. Look at Spy. Yeah. What you do. All right. And the party's on. Yeah, man. Okay. Right above the center of the new daily. I like it a lot. Oh, hello. Hello, this is little Asian. Right. <laughs> hello there. Hola, como esta? Hola. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. Young creators. Uh, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. The coin's in the middle of that daily range, and you've got uh, spies. Yeah, they're good. Doing. They're on fire. Buying and selling. There we go. Spy. Yeah. Spy. Look at that. Spy. Spy, right? You said, like you said, Bilbo, around that monthly range. Yeah. Looks like all the big up, bad boy. Yep. Let's see if today it can stay above like 385. Stay up here above this month, monthly and close up here. It's real nice. Yeah, that is, that'd be even in the daily range, too. Yeah. The one minute, let's see if Spy can hold positive. Yeah, yeah. Trip. Halloween today. Yeah. Okay. You know it's funny because I'm watching the minis. It's different because the minis they have a different, a different, uh, you know, daily CBR. It starts at seven o'clock last night or eight o'clock last night instead of nine thirty. So now we got to read here. Let's see what the daily is. So we're trading right in it right now. Okay. Last day of the month, right? I mean, you wedding anniversary, be fun. What, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Happy wedding anniversary, P Funk. Oh, thank you. Oh, so very nice. Wow. That oh my was goodness. very nice. That kind of made my day. Thank you. Dad already loves you. And she looks yeah. like Oreos in a wedding. Oh, oh, Dad loves you, man. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Awesome. I miss my daughter being that age. She's eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really his daughter, it's just Yasha's new voice. Oh, that's right. That's my new mic. In fact, that's my voice. Right now, man. Practicing for an anime show, huh? Yeah, that's my exactly. It's my anime, my anime voice. I think she's gonna sell off here, Bobo. Yeah. Oh, look cool. at all the bear div on the daily. Yeah. 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 A lot of bear div on the daily, man. I'm on, I'm trading on the short side here, man. Just last yeah, day. Man. Well, I mean, it's got a. Uh, I push it down. Yeah, and it's a bit of a negative random walk right now, but it's also forming a bit of a trend there, and it's also negative. Hmm. I've, I've been trying different channels. I've been trying RWTs with different channel links on it, so that's my new thing these days. Because when you have the default on the RWT, it's yeah. at 49, so I'm just trying out different links, and then right. converging them, finding that... Well, Finding that when they all can kind of converge at a, a certain point, they seem to be tops and bottoms. Which I like, is, I like, yeah, I like to also try out the more common uh, numbers that we use too on our WT, not forty nine, yeah. like three. Well, right, right. See, I didn't even realize that at first that it, like that it with the default was forty nine, and then I started tweaking them a little bit. I find twenty two works pretty good too on 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 that RWT. And then you have the upper and yeah. lower band, you know, like the upper and right. lower band. Are, are, are yeah, different. on traditional 22 works well, especially if you look, if you're just scanning for the daily and then you look oh, chunky. Which one? I'm sorry. No, 22 on the traditional. No, no, no. I heard the 22, but what What with the 22? Oh, I like looking at the daily on the 22 for traditionals because oh, that's how okay. we're working in the month they typically have. Right, because it's 22 days usually, right? And that way we were, we were something like that. Usually. Months, something like that. Yeah, it's it's kind of like how I look at crypto on a thirty for the same kind of similar reasons. You know, it's about thirty, you know, 30, 31 days a month. So sticking on a thirty 
you know, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be set to those numbers. It's fine. I just find that particular data set to usually be pretty accurate for the way I trade. So, do, you, you know. do you guys know if there's a way on TradingView, if you can have it where it automatically sets a line on the opening for, for the opening price? Like every, you know, like you know, you know um, like the, the CBR populates every day. Sets that, you know, like a sets like a, a line that doesn't move kind of thing. Or yeah, anything? just like a horizontal line. I just like a horizontal line going across my scene at like the opening heck of the day. I'm I mean, I think there are open opening. and close level indicators that just show you the level of the open and the close, and you can probably wow. I guess, highlight it with a horizontal line or something. Yeah, just something simple so that every day that if I pull up a stock, I can tell at least what its opening price is. Mm. I, always like I always like that. I put that on my charts most of the time, and I was just curious if Mm -hmm. way to automate it <laughs> yeah there probably are some i mean i've seen it something similar if, if it's not an indicator or if it's just some feature i forget but yeah you should be able to do that so like a feature of an indicator i got you that's cool i wonder if donnie brook could just add that on something for me by any chance you know I, I mean? is it the, in the labels on the right yeah in the label no like to have like a horizontal line like we have on the vre for the daily uh -oh. bull where it projects out um, uh, it yeah, it would project forward or just goes across the screen. It just tells me what the opening level is, you know, the opening price. I, yeah, I mean, that. we have them on VRE when the on the on daily ranges. What the hell yeah. is it doing? It's on the VRE. The opening? I don't. Know. It is. Little monkey. What is this thing doing? Anyway, it's not a big deal. I can do it manually. I don't. You know, I'm not. Yeah. Creating, I can do it manually easily. It's just I like to have it. It's just something I keep. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's built into the VRE to do what you oh. want, but in the VRE, or at least in the updated one that I'm beta testing, there's that function of where it shows you the future, you know, the current line projected out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, it's the same kind of idea. It's just you would put on an open and close. Right. I'm sure. Thing. I'm sure Donnie Brook. It would, I mean, I don't know if he's here, but I'm sure or one of those guys. Could, that's probably a pretty simple thing to add on to something. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe. Who am I? I, I, I can't even, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it can be, too, it can be, it's not out of the realm of ability since they built all these other things. Just exactly. it, you got it, lot of level isn't the problem. But uh, <laughs> but I don't think you need to. I think it's a feature you can actually, oh, I'll look for it. I'll, I'll send you what I find. Uh, yeah, if you see something, I thank like you. I did mean to offshoot yeah. there. Anyway, sure, listen, man. Bill, I didn't hear you. What did you say about SoFi, SOFI on a read? I didn't hear any of it. Um, I don't, know I, I, don't know. Yeah, I don't think I gave it a good, good read. I'm it's looking right. at, I'm looking at regular spy intraday though. Yeah. No, man, I'm be careful. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This thing's <laughs> I, know, I, know. I got you, man. I got you. The daily though, I mean, I'm telling you, there is a lot of bear div. And at some yeah. point that'll probably play out. Mm -hmm. Whether or not it plays out the last day of the month. Well, I like it to the short side. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking to sell rallies, not buy dips. But I, either way, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going to do right. whatever the indicators are going to tell me to do. So let me see here. Yeah, I mean, right now it's riding up a bit. Exactly. You know, so right it's, it's above the daily CBR on the spy. The minis are, you know, just kind of trying to bounce off the weekly. So. I'm not mistaken because this the, the minis have a very wide. Well, I guess it's not too. Yeah, it's pretty wide. The CBR. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm seeing. Know. I'm seeing a lot of positive drift coming in on SoFi, like higher term time frames. So a lot of the sudden pressure that comes in is going to be bought up quickly. Well, that is the observation. Today. I mean, look at this move today. I mean, it's not big. What, what's the long? What's the long side of that? SOF. Oh no, no, no! I'm not asking you. So I'm asking you an SOFI. It's a stock. So oh, I, oh yeah. I thought you were on that fucking. Let me look. No, here. no, no. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm all over the place this morning. Too much coffee. I need to no, get all. I want you to send me a list of all your favorite, like traditional tickers and stuff, so I can add them in my list. Yeah, we give you what. Plus, we give you all the things. Yeah, that'd be great because you can have the, you know, the T, the T triple Q, the S triple Q. Yeah, all that. SOXL, SOXS, all that kind of stuff. And then you. That would be cool. That would be cool if you could share that. XLE, awesome. XLE. Oh, dude, I'll send you guys all a list of all that. Because I'm telling you what, I, I find personally that 
and, and I think it might ring true is that you look, we can have, you can have stocks, but I find all these indicators work better on like indices and more roundabout, like the dollar or like the SOXL, or, you know, like they seem to work really good on indices and things like that or, or ETFs right. that are a basket. Right. Uh, yeah. Know. Because those are, those are all averages of exactly. groups of assets, which makes right. them kind of yeah. I'll, I'll send you guys a list. I'll post a list on Stream Stream Chat today, ones that you should have, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, because this whole time I've been Googling SoFi. I thought it was an indice. No, SOFI. It's a stock. It's that company that loans out to – it's a crypto company, I think. SoFi, yeah. Yeah, mm. there's just one Donnie Brook been following, I think. I think it's Donnie Brook or Van F. One of them has been following yeah. us a long time. By the way, daily on Spy, man, if you're shorting, dude – I mean, are you Fair. looking at that volatility? That is looking up. I know. Dude. It looks like it wants to explode up. I agree. <laughs> on the daily. Yeah, I agree on the daily. But, SoFi, you know, too, Moon. The SoFi. Mm. SoFi really like to the upside, but I'm not yeah. so you're trying to tell a stock. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah, yeah. it looks like this thing's going to move up for sure. Right. That's more or less why I was bringing it to your attention here this morning. I think this thing, because there's a lot of tweet, tweet chat going on on it. There's a lot of stuff, but it's got, and it's, it's been beaten down. Look how much it's been beaten off. You look at the daily and weekly. Yeah. No, no. I mean, this is a real deal. <laughs> yeah, man. Looks like a shit coin for sure. Yeah. Look at that chart. Dude. I mean, at some point, some of these start to become attractive, you know. I mean, if you're yeah, actually, yeah. Well, the ones that have good prospects for the future. Exactly. That, uh, There's going to be new spot. years going forward. Yeah, I mean, I've got a bunch of three-day, two-day, probably five-day bull div. Oh, yeah. Weekly, Rod, we got to really contract the Gaussian bands on this. Yeah, look at the Fishers, too. They're strong. Volatility's pretty crushed. Well, keep an eye on put an alert. That's what I'm, I'm just doing. I'm putting an alert for like a certain price if it pops up above. I like what I see on the AME, too, because it just had a yellow flash, I don't know, two, about two candles ago. And it's, it's now you're getting green flashes to the upside on the old AME one. But you know. Yeah, it's definitely looking up, and you also have an uh, earnings call on it uh, on tomorrow. Okay. Quarterly earnings call thing. Yeah. Might but uh, usually when there's good news on quarterly earnings, you know, that's exactly. not good for the price. And usually when there's bad news, it's not it's not bad news for the price. It's always, right. you know, it, it has a very often opposite effect. Er yeah. Earnings? What's earnings? I thought uh, I thought we were doing memes. Uh, <laughs> we're doing memes. Bro. We're doing memes. Wow, but some come with memes. Those NFT points. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> uh, points. Circulate currencies from royalties from your assets. Uh, all right, in English, you guys. In English. <laughs> and we we hand money out when you hold on to our garbage long enough. We hand out crypto coins if you hold on to our garbage long enough. We'll give you a percentage of the crypto <laughs> point for our garbage. That's wonderful. Around and around. Which, by the way, if you're a big whale and you like to uh, have like easy kind of revenue, something that easily easily is done, as people, you know, they'll watch their own money and at the same time they'll set up an NFT and then they'll sell it and then they'll collect the creator fees and then they'll even buy their own with another wallet right? and then they'll start making volume traffic to get attention. Get mm -hmm. listed on the on the front page or whatever, and then just suddenly people will just start buying their NFT because it has a lot of volume. Meanwhile, it's just them buying and selling their own, you know, stuff with different wallets. And uh, it's creating easy false way to true. easy way to circulate the coin. Yeah. I can't Wash I it. can't believe there's <laughs> any scams yep. in this business. That that sounds so Dude, un. There is it absolutely it comes up. Yeah. Man, Jay, you're 100 percent right. That is there's absolutely no scamming on Wall Street. Get the fuck. There's the bull run. Fuck. There'll be the bull run dance. Yeah, that's that's right 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 it's Yasha and Bilbo right there. Fuck yeah. yeah. On the beach drinking <laughs> fucking drink. They got umbrellas in their drinks. Yeah. With banana thongs down underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we bought like fucking 200 fucking Bitcoin call options at 18.5 and Bitcoin's now at $500,000. That's right. That's right. Wow. Trying to That's fucking beat It's very aggressive. It was hard to find the, those little green grass skirts. Yeah, I'm going to just pretend you didn't say that.
I'm just kidding, brother. I don't know. It's Monday, last day of the month. This is how these streets go. I know. It's the anniversary oh, day. It's Halloween hey day. I don't know what the fuck I got going on. Yeah. I got to go outside real quick. I got some fucking truck out here. <laughs> Dude, so that's so funny. You got the meme, by the way. Slightly okay. Started to slope up on the daily and is positive and is run. It just ran through the R the RMLR like the last trading day. Nice. So, but, uh, I think this is good. Keep an eye on this, guys. I'm telling you, I think this was going to pop. You guys could be a little pop here, definitely. Yeah. And you got if it hits a band above, a third band above, the first one's up at 621. Uh -huh. the next up at around 670 if it goes to that outlier, at which point it'd be oh, yeah, also good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. Good. Some, That's a good. Them. Yeah. A good chunk of change, you get a position on it for sure. It's already at the top of the daily uh, Gaussian bands that right. are contracting right. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is, it is uh, I mean, you still have rising APPs. Like, it could definitely explode or, you know, have, like, a nice little explosion here for a little while. Or well, some, Like, you know, gosh, a lot of these have just really been beaten down, dude. You know what I mean? And as yeah, that's why they had a little pops up. Like, I had, right. like, last week, had a little pop up. It went up, yeah. uh, what was like, uh... I don't know, nine and a half percent or something like that. Yeah. So, up to the uh, up to the RPC. Some of these are ready to go, man. I mean, I, I I don't know. I'll tell you what, I don't think that it's funny. I wonder I'm wondering to see how the Googles and the Amazons and all this shit plays out for the next year. Or they just continue to slowly melt out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, so far specifically, if it falls from here on the day, I would not be surprised because like it's literally at the RWT and the top of the third Gaussian band. Like it's right. It would be a very, very natural place for it to head down. Plus, you've got falling variants negatively correlated, but it is falling variants. I appreciate um, you taking a look, guys. Thank you. Today. And you've got the volatility on it just in general looking pretty beat. And like short length, okay, have a little move up, that'd be fine. But the middle length and long length are kind of looking down, man. They're like, they're just. Crushed, man, they're crushed on the volatility for now. They brought it back down. They kept it up this morning. They brought it back down. So, like you said, I'm just going to set an alert for a certain price if it goes over. You know what I mean? Look yeah. for a breakout on it, man. You know. I yeah. I do appreciate it. I might short it if it got to the if it gets. I mean, if it if it even hit below the top of the close at like five forty yeah. five forty five. Yeah. Yeah, I see that absolutely. I'll be looking to short around there yeah. because also. The second Gaussian band up on the daily, the VWAP Gaussian band. Huh, yeah. Well, I've got a, one, I got a cone on it from the 28th opening to the 28th, and it's at the, the one, two, third. It's bouncing off the fourth, yeah. you know, PV cone. Oh, I actually said PV cone. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's just a PV, right. bro. PV. Projection. Oh, sorry, projection. PV. Uh, PV, like peanut butter, baby, like peanut butter. <laughs> That's too funny, man. We, uh, oh, what else? Hey, I had a peanut butter old fashioned last night. Peanut butter DJ old fashioned. Wow, that thing was awesome. <laughs> wow. wow, that sounds interesting. Yes. Yeah, Let me see some here. This is kind of ALR, by the way, is rising on the day still on that SoFi. Yeah. Even though the returns have you know, led price action down a bit. The returns themselves are indeed still rising. They haven't yet come down. <laughs> Who put so, that out there, Bilbo? <laughs> look at Bilbo draw, drawing with his lines. Is that his? Oh, yeah, I'm just doing the divergence thing. <laughs> Dude, there was, it looks like an ascending triangle to me, man. This this is not allowed on here. That's right. Hey, hey man, these are divergence <laughs> lines, not channels. Yes, That's what he's like. This is what to go wrong. They're drawing channels. They don't even know what they're drawing. <laughs> I don't know if it was NASA or a cheesecake or something. I don't know. Mm. So it's like, yeah, there's a lot of bear div, right? There's a lot of bear div on the spy move on the daily. But what the bear div is just setting up hidden bull. Hidden bull. Yep. That's all that's going on. 